this is the thing. There has been no action. There's been no change. Nothing really has been done uh, to change how immigrants are processed through the border and how many people are being allowed into the country, which is concerning for a lot of border towns. There's now a new huge caravan of immigrants heading for the U.S., but we've seen this before. Here it is again. Uh, this is brand new video, thousands walking, and, and I mean, really, there's no end in sight from this video. Uh, they started in Central America. They're taking a very long, dangerous trek, uh, but they're committed. And Jorge Ventura is joining us with more on exactly how many people precisely are we talking about here, and would they all come to the border at the same time? Good morning, Adrian. So we are looking at a massive caravan, around 5,000 people. Now, it will be unlikely if they all make it to the U.S. at the same time, but it is concerning for Border, border Patrol officials. This migrant caravan is trekking from southern Mexico. Thousands of migrants organized in Tapachula in the southern state of Chiapas. These migrants coming in from Guatemala. But a new U.S.-Mexico agreement requires migrants to remain in Mexico until they receive a humanitarian visa issued by that country. Mexican officials say they are overwhelmed by the hundreds of migrants arriving to Tapachula every day, many of them from Venezuela, Haiti, Guatemala, and Cuba, weren't able to get that visa, so they band together as a massive caravan and are headed for the U.S. border anyway. Now, these caravans usually split up into smaller groups on their way to different crossing points on the southern border, but this is a massive challenge for CBP. Border Patrol agents apprehended more than 260,000 migrants on the southern border in September. And that number, of course, does not include gotaways, which are migrants entering the country illegally, were detected, but were not apprehended by an agent. And as illegal crisis continues to spike, pressure is mounting on the Biden administration to curb illegal immigration. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas admitted during a Senate Homeland Security hearing on Tuesday that DHS struggled to get a handle on the record number of gotaways in the 2023 fiscal year. How many gotaways did CBP record in fiscal year 2023? I believe, um, Senator, that number is over 600,000. And as I'm sure you are well aware, uh, the, the phenomenon of gotaways is something that uh, has been a challenge uh, for the Department of Homeland Security. Now, with that massive caravan headed to the U.S. border without those humanitarian visas, it will be up to Mexican officials to stop those migrants before they get to the U.S. border. But as of right now, that remains highly unlikely. Marky and Adrian. Yeah, there's so many different crises happening around the world, and we can't forget that this one is still happening here uh, at our own border and on our own American turf. Uh, Jorge Ventura, thanks so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.